three charges q1 q2 and q3 are arranged as shown in figure so at the ends there are two charges q1 and q2 six micro coulomb and four micro coulomb and at its midpoint since the distance is equal 5 centimeter 5 centimeter at the midpoint a third charge q3 two micro coulomb is placed so they are asked to find out the force acting on q3 so the force on q3 is given by q1 and q2 so it's technically the charge the force between two charges so first we will discuss the theory the theory this to this question is coulomb's law so according to coulomb's law the force between two charges is electrostatic force or electric force is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the two charges q1 q2 by r square the distance between them so this is the theory but there are two pairs of charges so two different forces will be there we will find out each one so the force between q1 and q3 so force between q1 that is 1 and q3 that is 3 so let it be f13 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q3 by r square we will substitute the values 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into q1 as given in question it is 6 micro that is 10 raised to minus 6 into q3 is 2 micro the whole divided by the distance between them is 5 centimeter so we need to convert it into meter so 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 so now we have converted it into meter the whole square similarly the force acting between the third charge and the second charge okay so the force exerted by the second charge on third charge let it be f23 equal to again 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the charges are 2 and 3 so q2 q3 by r square so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into q2 as given in question is 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 4 micro into q3 is 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 the whole divided by the distance between these two charges is also 5 centimeter so 5 into meter so 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 r square so the whole square so we got the two forces but in order to find out the total force we must know the direction of these forces so in question this is a positive charge this is also a positive charge and this is also a positive charge a positive and positive charge repel each other so q1 tries to repel q3 means the force exerted by the first charge on third is in this direction and these two positive charges also repel each other which means that the second charge also repels the third charge so its direction is like this the force exerted by the second on third is like this so from the figure it is clear that the forces are opposite to each other since it is a vector quantity the net force will be difference of those two so f net is equal to force exerted by the first on third minus force exerted on the second on third so we need to subtract these two values so we will substitute the values f net is equal to f13 is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 6 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 the whole divided by 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square minus this value 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 4 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 the whole divided by 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square so there are a lot of terms which are common in these two values so we'll take it outside 
so f net is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 is common so let it be outside 10 raised to minus 6 and 10 raised to minus 6 is common so 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 here 2 and 2 is common so 2 also we will take it outside so in the numerator 9 into 10 raised to 9 9 into 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 and 2 9 into 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 6 10 raised to minus 6 and 2 all of them are common so the remaining term is just 6 and 4 so it becomes 6 minus 4 and numer denominator also is common so denominator is 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square so we'll open the brackets 5 square is 25 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole raised to 2 is 10 raised to minus 4 so 6 minus 4 is 2 so we'll solve that f net is equal to 9 into 2 into 9 into 2 into 6 minus 4 is 2 into minus 6 plus minus 6 is minus 12 minus 12 and there is a 9 over there and also if you take the minus 10 raised to minus 4 to the numerator it becomes 10 raised to plus 4 so overall 9 plus 4 is 13 13 minus 12 is 1 so it becomes 10 raised to 1 by 25 so 5 times 2 and 5 times 5 so 2 2's are 4 4 2's are 8 and 8 9's are 72 by 5 so the value will be 14.4 newton they have also asked to find out in which direction will this force act clearly this is 6 times 2 and this is 4 times 2 which means that this force the force exerted by the first charge on third is greater the force exerted by first charge on third is greater than force exerted by second charge on third so the net force will be in the direction of the greater force so we can say that f net is in the direction of f13 or f13 is directed towards q2 or towards q2 that will be